Joining me to discuss the work of the Chartered Institute of Credit Management is its Chief Executive, Philip King. Great to see you again, Philip. Thanks for coming in and talking to me. Credit management, it's, it's not a profession, is it? Let's be honest, that we speak about a lot. So can you explain a bit about the role? That's very true. Put simply, credit management is about achieving maximum sales with minimum risk. The role of credit management and the animation that we've seen shows the breadth of it. Um, and when that's adopted with best practice, it adds real immeasurable value to the businesses that people work for. We've seen over the years catastrophic failures, BHS, Woolworths, Carillion, Monarch Airlines. And we've seen the devastating domino effect of those collapses and failures down the supply chain on businesses that have been supplying them. It's no coincidence that CICM members will often have got the debt down by managing it carefully in the months and weeks preceding the collapse. And as a result, their bad debt has been much less than it would otherwise have been. That's not just not luck. It's actually good practice, it's professionalism, and it's good credit management. That's why credit management is recognised in boardrooms. And where it's not, that's why we support credit managers to raise awareness of the value they add to their businesses. Now, I remember when we spoke before, you talked about communication being a key part of the job. Um, that surprises me because essentially it's a financial and a numbers game, isn't it? Yes, it is. But people buy from people and people get paid by people. And therefore, it's important that businesses really know their customers and have relationships with them. The animation again shows us that the importance of knowing a customer and knowing whether they can repay is really important. And whether those customers are public bodies, businesses or consumers, the same principles apply. Building a, a relationship starts at the very outset. So agreeing and negotiating contract terms and payment terms that are acceptable to both parties is really important if the relationship isn't going to end in tears. And sometimes things go wrong. And when they go wrong, it's important that conversations that are candid and open can take place. If you've built the, the foundations of that early on, that can happen. And if you're talking to a customer that can't pay you or is struggling to pay you, the chances are that you've, you've got more chance of being paid than someone that, than someone that isn't talking to them. Mm, OK, so we've established that communication and people skills are yeah. an essential part of the job. But what other key skills w would you require to be in your sector? Credit management is a brilliant career. Managing accounts receivables is a big and important role. The role of credit professional embraces aspects from many different careers. Accountant, analyst, detective, diplomat, lawyer, negotiator, problem solver, risk assessor, salesperson, and so much more. When credit professionals are best of breed like CICM members, they bring those qualities into that role and they add immeasurable value to their businesses by doing so. And of course, CICM qualifications are the recognised standard for those who want to develop their careers and flourish. OK, so you are the body that represents all of these professional people with huge number of skills. What do you actually do for your members? The CICM exists to raise awareness of the importance of credit management, to drive best practice and to support professionals throughout their careers. Working with leading organisations like ITM Productions on this project is a way of raising awareness. Our resources, our knowledge hub, our magazine and briefings, our advice lines provide vital support. Our qualifications, our um, CPD scheme, our mentor hub and our training give professionals the tools they need to develop their careers. Our best practice network, which underpins our quality accreditation, recognises those who are most effective. And we have a network of corporate partners who provide access to vital services. Our branch network, our local regional activities and our social media activity all provide a vibrant community for those working in credit. And our work with government ensures that our members have a voice in the corridors of power and that they have the opportunity to shape and influence direction and policy. So those are some of the benefits for your members, but what about the wider community? Good credit decisions mean that people get the credit they need, businesses and consumers, to buy goods or services or the finance they need and that they can repay, because if they can't, there are no winners. Healthy cash flow and stronger spending power means that businesses grow and develop and have more money to invest in resources, in people and in research. And in turn, that means that the economy grows and flourishes. Imagine an economy where there were no mortgages. Imagine an economy where every business had to pay up front for goods or services it wanted. In short, credit management creates sales, generates cash and makes the economy thrive. Philip King, great to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.